What's going on everybody? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy and having a great day. So today we're going to talk about a new coin called Hivecoin that is apparently a direct fork of Ravencoin and Bitcoin, which is pretty interesting to say the least. So let's get over to the page. Right here, this is Hivecoin. Uh, this is the page. It is hivecoin.org. What I'm going to do in this video is show you guys how to download a wallet. I'm going to show you guys how to mine it in Windows and how to mine it in Hive OS. So without further ado, let's get into it. First thing you're going to need, obviously, is the wallet. Whatever software you're using, come over here and download it. I'm going to download it for Windows because that's what I have. Once it pops up in the bottom left, this is going to pop up. You're going to click more info, I'm going to choose run anyways. Yes, you're going to allow it to make changes to your computer. And then this pops up. Next, you can save it in any drive you want. I'm just going to leave it on my C drive for now. Next, leave it Hive Core, install. Pretty simple, cut and dry. Next, and finish. So now it is going to pop up. You're going to use the default data directory. OK. Then it's going to do its thing. So more or less, this is exactly like Ravencoin Lite, except this gives you a seed phrase. So what you're going to do here is click generate. Once that seed phrase pops up, then you're going to click import. I'll just show you guys because this is just an example and I'm going to delete this wallet anyways. So we're going to click generate. It's going to pop in the seed phrase. Obviously, these are all individual words to obtain this wallet if anything ever happens. Then you're going to choose import. So right here now it's basically going to just download the transactions from the past couple weeks with other people and all that stuff. Same thing you guys already saw on Ravencoin Lite. If you guys already saw that video, if not, I'll drop a link above. But what we're going to do right now is hide this. Come over here to file and receiving address. What you're going to do is click new. I'm just going to type in CCXD. Okay, and bingo, there's your address. You can right click it and copy address. Get out of that. There you go. This is your new wallet and I just copied the address. So, all right, so I'm gonna come over here to the latest miner app. We're gonna go down to T-Rex miner 23.2 and click download. It'll bring you straight to the GitHub. I'm gonna scroll down and we will download this WinZip 23.2. Let it do its thing potentially dangerous. We're going to choose keep. Then we're going to open it up. Once it opens, we're going to click extract all. Extract. Now what I'm going to do is copy this to my desktop to show you guys a little more in depth on a clean screen. All right, so there it is. We have T-Rex 23.2. Let's double click on that. We're going to scroll down here basically to any one of these Raven addresses. It doesn't really matter. We're just going to right click on it and click edit. This is going to pop up. I'm going to click more info, run anyways. Now, once this bat file pops up, the algorithm Kapow is not going to change. We need to change the stratum and we need to change the wallet address and the rig ID if you want. So what I'm going to do is just highlight this whole thing and bomb in a whole new line, which is right here. I will leave this in the description below. Obviously, you're going to have to change the wallet address, which is right here. Starts with the H, ends with the two. Then you can change the CCXD, which is the name of the worker. And you can put in a password, just change it from X to whatever you want if you would like. Totally up to you. And a little pointer, if you guys want, you can put in dash D space and you can choose the GPU that you want to run. If you have more than one GPU in your computer like I have. So if I wanted it to run on my 3070, which is in the first slot, I'm going to put a zero in because that's the first slot. If I want to run it on my 3080, which is underneath the 3070, I can choose one and it will just run the 3080. So entirely up to you guys. For this video, I'm just going to leave it blank. We're not going to put the D in. It's just going to run both GPUs so you guys can see. We're going to choose File, Save As. All right, so right here, we're just going to highlight this and delete it. We're going to type in Hivecoin underscore Kapow. And then we're going to change this to all files and we need to put a dot BAT at the end of the file. Choose save. X this out. Now we're going to see that we have Hivecoin Kapow right here. 
simple as that. Now all you gotta do is obviously get into MSI Afterburner, overclock your cards at your own risk, and open up the miner. All right, so this is just running on stock clocks. I gave it about a minute to uh, get all those OKs and give you guys a breakdown of the cards and all that. Obviously, like I said, stock clocks, not premium, but whatever. This is just for an example. I wanted to show you guys that it's working successfully. So now what we're going to do is X this out because I don't want to be running this. I will also, like I said, leave everything in the description below, and I will try to put it in the Misfit Mining Discord as well. I'm going to X this out because we're done here. Now what we're going to do is open up Hive OS and I'll show you how to make a flight sheet and add the coin into there. All right, so here we are inside Hive OS. What we're going to do is come over here, go to wallets. You're going to go to add wallet. We are going to type in HVN and it's just going to be a blank symbol because it really doesn't exist yet. You're going to put your address in, paste that in there. And then we're going to then just type in the worker name Hive coin and create. I'm not going to create it because I really don't need it. I already have one. So that's how you do it. Add that as a wallet. All right. So then we're going to go to flight sheets. You're going to go to coin. You can type in HVN or click it if it pops up. Then we're going to choose the wallet that you just entered. You're going to go to configure in miner for the pool. And right here for the miner, you're going to click the drop down and go to T Rex. And then we'll go to set up minor config. All right, so you're gonna wanna go to the hash algorithm. You're gonna wanna scroll down and find Kapow right here. Then the worker template, you're gonna choose the I and just click on the percentage wall in there. Same thing here, go to worker names, just click that. And then for the pool, this stratum is what you're gonna put in there. I will leave this in the description down below. And just so you guys know, if you have multiple GPUs on one rig and you want to run, say, one card on this just to get some coin for the time being, you can hit or hover over this little eye, come down to devices and choose it. Once you click on it, it pops into the line item like that. And say in your rig, you have zero through eight, which means you have nine GPUs on your rig and you only want to run GPU seven. What you're going to do is delete the 456 example and just put number seven. But when you apply the changes, save the flight sheet, you have to make sure right now we'll just for an example, we'll apply it. You want to click add miner when you're say you're mining ETH. This is all example. Just say we're using Hive on doesn't really matter because I'm not creating this flight sheet. But say we also want to use T-Rex miner, you need to set up minor config come to here go down to devices do the same thing when it pops in there in between the quotations you want to hit enter to drop it down to the next line and you need to manually type in all of those numbers every other gpu except for the one you chose for the other minor so you need to do zero one two three four five six eight you skip seven that way all of these cards get thrown onto that flight sheet and work properly. And the other card, number seven, will be doing Hivecoin and you have no issues. So save it, apply changes, create the flight sheet and set it to your rig. You are good to go. So here we are inside my rig. As you guys can see, the bottom card on this flight sheet is mining Hivecoin all by itself. Again, speculative mining. I just want to achieve a bag of this so in case if it goes somewhere one day then you know what it pays off if it doesn't oh well i lost what a couple days mining on one card and i got a massive amount of coins so who knows give it a shot if you guys want if you don't is what it is uh real quick just before we go i want to show you guys down here on your hive wallet because i was concerned about this myself in how to back this up if you come up to wallet, you need to click backup. Once you choose backup, you can go and put it wherever you want inside your computer. If you have a certain hard drive or if you plug in an external hard drive, you can click on it and you can, you know, type in the file name and save it to that hard drive or whatever you guys installed, like USB, whatever, just something to back it up in case anything ever happens to this wallet. This Hivecoin wallet does have that seed phrase like you guys saw right at the beginning. So it's a little easier to recover if you guys lose the wallet or something gets corrupt. But having an extra backup, in my opinion, always a smart thing to do. 
But yes, that's going to be pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, please leave it down in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you. If not, jump over to our Misfit Mining Discord where we have a bunch of great people in there that are more than willing to help you guys out, including Mr. Matt Electron Engineering. He is a great guy. He actually walked me through this hive coin stuff right before I made this video for you guys. So huge thanks to him. Please go check him out. I will leave a link to his channel right up above. And as always, I appreciate you guys for watching. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe on the way out. And I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.